Hello my friends, this is Shred, the one Eyed Gamer, and we're back once again. Uh, we're here obviously as well on the Hardcore COD Union channel, um, the best hardcore players on the face of the earth, and the face of the Black Ops 2 community. Um, you won't get any better than here on the HCU. So, the game I bring you today my friends, absolutely epic, of epic proportions. <laughs> uh, this is a 92 for 2 gameplay um, on Raid. Uh, running with a gun that I don't normally use, um, I'm mostly an SMG player um, user. But I'm running with the Type 25. I'll kind of give you a quick rundown of what I'm using and stuff. So I'm using the, the Type 25 with the quick draw, adjustable stock, and the fast magazine. Uh, my perks I'm using Hardline, Scavenger, Engineer, and Dexterity. Uh, reason, I usually run Ghost or Blind Eye, but with an assault rifle, I kind of like to have the gun snap up a lot faster, that's why I put dexterity on. I don't normally use it because um, I'm mostly, a, I like to hip fire um, a lot of the time. Uh, so yeah, 92 for 2, absolutely awesome. I get uh, my first nuclear um, as well in this game which was absolutely epic um, but I do believe it ruined the 100 plus. Um, I'll get into my theory. So today's video I'm actually going to talk about how to get 100 plus or to kind of increase your chances um, of getting extremely high scoring gameplays. Uh, does anything above 50 kills is probably a high scoring gameplay, I think, in my mind. Um, on hardcore anyway. Um, I, now this is my theory for hardcore. Um, core could be a little bit different because um, obviously there's you die like, like there's more chance of you surviving gunfights and things um, on core mode so on hardcore, this is kind of what I do to to try and get my hard my high scoring gameplays. So the score streaks I'm running, I'm using the lightning strike, the stealth chopper, and the visa. Um, which yeah, it's not you don't have to run super high score streaks to get high score games. That's not how it goes. It doesn't. It, you don't have to run swarm all the time to get high score gameplays because a lot of time the swarm doesn't always get you a lot of kills. You know, people just, if they run blind eye, or if they're hiding in a house, um, you know, it's, they're fine. Because the stealth chopper kills you when you're in houses, it shoots you through windows and things like that. Um, that's that's how I feel, you know, there's days where the, the swarm does go ham, but other days not. And this is my main theory um, of how I think I'm going to get 100 plus, and how I get my high score gameplays. If you run medium score streaks, Obviously, you get them faster. You can cycle through them a lot quicker. Obviously, the VSAT is my highest score streak, um, which is only, what, um, a thousand points uh, when you're running hardline. So, you can, from when you get your lightning strike to your VSAT, is extremely quick, and then going back round when you start again to get your lightning strike is extremely fast. So, I feel you can rush a lot more when you have medium score streaks on. If you, like, for, for my personal preference, if I use put the swarm on of the dogs my playstyle slows down because I know I've got to take my time and you know work a lot harder to get the high score streaks so that's that's just the way I kind of do it it's the way I kind of see it I'm sure yeah the, obviously if you get extremely a good lobby and good games you can rush for a swarm which if I had the swarm in this game then I probably would have been able to get um, at least two of them I would imagine so I would suggest if you're going for 100 plus or well, just extremely high score games, run medium streaks. Try this. Try these score streaks, for example. Now with the lightning strike, it's kind of hitting a miss with the lightning strike. So if you're wanting the high score games, your lightning strike does have to do well, and that's where obviously a lot of luck is involved. Uh, which I do. I, my lightning strike does extremely well um, in this game. You know, I'm getting three and four kills each time I call it in. So that obviously does extremely well and it would probably add up to the same amount as what a swarm would do um, if you call in three three or four lightning strikes which is it's not the hardest thing to do on the planet um, so like you see here I, I go through my score streaks extremely fast my stealth choppers racking up kill after kill after kill then I got a quad lightning strike here there's one two three 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 there with the Lightning strike, and if you get three each time, and you call five in, there's 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 15 kills, which is you know pretty good for that's probably the equivalent of one swarm. But I think the key thing when you're going for uh, 
high scoring games it's all about momentum you have to just keep going you can't you can't stop and this is this is where it screwed me over because just there you seen I got my brutal medal which was uh, 25 kills and when I got that I was alright I'm very close to the, nu the nuclear so I went I'm just gonna hold off and go for the nuclear medal because I thought in my mind there's more chance of me getting 100 kills than it is for me to get a 30 gun streak um, on a more regular basis Maybe, because you know, this, this is my first nuclear medal, so I team killed that guy, sorry. <laughs> I do apologise. Uh, no, there's my brutal medal, there's 25. Um, so, like I said, it's the momentum that gets you the high score games, you've got to just keep going. And like what what I do here, you see me, I just stay in this half of the map. Not even this half, this quarter of the map until I get my nuclear, which screwed over my 100 plus because if I, if I wasn't going for the nuclear I would have played I would have kept my aggressiveness I would have kept that going and I would have pushed where obviously all the orange things are. I've got a VSAT up so I know where they are but I was still scared that I was gonna die stupidly or something so I went, I'm just I'm holding back and I'm just gonna wait for them to kind of spawn near me and then I'm gonna push in and take them out whereas if I wasn't, I would have ran over to the other side of the map and I would have just start, you know, start praying, uh, start spraying everywhere and just trying to just trying to get those kills as, as fast as possible. But, you know, I was like, screw it, I'm, I'm waiting for the nuclear, I want the nuclear medal. Um, I still thought I may have got the 100, because I, like I said, I, I never check the score when I'm playing a game, I just wait till the end. But I knew my stealth chopper was getting me loads and loads of kills, my lightning strikes were doing well, so I thought, right, this is going to be high. This may be the 100, um, but unfortunately it wasn't, but I wasn't, I knew, as soon as the game ended, I knew that was why I didn't get the 100 kills, it's because I held off um, for the nuclear rail. You see here, I'm just I'm just sitting in the garage here, I'm kind of patrolling slash camping, kind of, sorry. <laughs> but, you know, I was, I was just, I was, I was that kind of nervous sense um, that you get when you get on a really good kind of streak and stuff. So I was like, nah, screw it, I'm waiting. Um, so for the hundred plus, I think it's all about momentum. Obviously, there's lots of things, other things that have that has to happen in a game. You obviously the other team, you have to be better than the other team on the day. Um, obviously, your connection and blah blah blah. And your, of course, your score streaks um, need to do a lot of work. They need to do it well. And I just, this is where I die. In fact, just after I call this in, I think, <laughs> which sucked. I was guided, <clears throat> but it was a really good game. And what I'm going to be doing, um, I'm, that's all I've really got to accomplish now is 100 kills. So a new kind of series I'm going to be doing. It's called the, I'm going to call it the Hardcore 100. Uh, just where I'm going to post um, when I get extremely high scoring games. I'm going to post them and just going to. I don't know, kind of more tips and advice and stuff uh, on how what I'm doing to, to get those high scoring games and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, my friends. Uh, uh, I thought it was really beast myself. Um, if you liked the video, then please like it if you did. Um, I don't like to ask for you to subscribe, but if you do like the video, then subscribe as well if you wish. Um, and I shall see you in the next video, uh, which will be another episode um, of Hardcore 100. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of raid, <laughs> because I get, again, a good tip for getting a, a large score in game is to do it on the map that you know best. And I'll leave you on that thought, my friends. I shall see you next time. Adios, amigos. Stealth job, our lightning strike for the win. Epic.